Along with this, we have added also what's called apply closest joint. You will notice that the, there is tie-in trims in there on the screen through here at different parts. They are not closest joint, they are actually different lettering in here. What I could do is grab that through here and I could apply closest joint. Now the shortcut key for this is J. So I could apply the closest joint. So now it has moved my entering and exit points to a closer to the next object. Now, by all means, this is nothing compared to branching. This is actually moving your entering and exit points to the next object closer. Now we're going to get into measurements. So right here I have a design through here and you will notice through here this is in inches tells me that. In the past you had to get out but I could actually change it and see what the measurements on the units. Along with the lettering I could go through my lettering box and actually say hey what I need to have this change and a customer comes to me and says needs to add a quarter of an inch. I could go back and say what is a quarter inch and change that real quick and change the size of my lettering. Along with this we have the scroll if you have a mouse you can scroll through the your mouse settings so we're gonna get into the display options and we're gonna go into the scrolling. We have added moving the behavior of the wheel of the mouse. So you can change the different effect when you move these. So if you want to hold the control, alt, or shift, you could change how it scrolls. So what I mean by here, I could actually hold the shift key and move in and out. If I hold my alt key, I could go left and right. And if I hold my control key, I can move up and down. These are just some of the features of using a mouse that has a wheel. Along with this, Wellcome had introduced some printing options and productions through here. So you may have a design here and you may want to do a pre-production for your customer. So I'm going to go ahead and print preview on here and they have added a pre-production through here. You can actually put this on a product also. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and I'm going to go through my list through here and I could change the different color of the background so maybe it's on a red background and also I may apply it to a product through here. So I may want to create on a lady's shirt as possibly a t-shirt through here. So I'm going to go ahead grab a t-shirt. I may change the color of the t-shirt and so forth. I'm going to go ahead put that on my screen and I'm going to zoom out here and now I could actually apply that on the sheet through here as if it was on a product. So now I have this, I may want to change the stones on there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my stones through here and make it a color that I may want to see a little more. The per customer might want a different color on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put more of a gray material stones on there. Do my production on here uh, for my customer to see. And now I have my approval sheet the customer could approve it see on a product I could go through the different options and go through the different production sheets put my customer name on there and so forth so these are just a couple different things you can do with that welcome has also added hoop it so you might have a design on the screen and you could actually go through your different hoops and you might have certain hoops on there and determine the type of hoops you can create your own hoops and more so what I'm gonna do is click on that and it automatic hoops it now depending on the design I may scale this design down a little smaller and automatic hoop it with a different hoop on there. So I could automatic adjust the design and move it and so forth and determine 
what size hoop I have it and it will tell me I am using an 18 centimeter hoop. These are just some of the features on there that Wellcom has put on their list. I have found many more features on here. Some of the features that Wellcom did not mention that I have found is envelope. Uh, I have lettering here and this is actually one of the new uh, 11 alphabets added to E2 also. So there is 11 additional alphabets that they did not mention it. You can find more information going by the release notes and pull up the release notes uh, to see what's all new on there. Um, but envelope. In the past when you did envelope you was kind of like restricted to one envelope as you see through here as you might find here and then if you go to the next envelope it will go revert back to the lettering but now you can add on to this envelope so this is actually multi enveloping on here so I could do bridging and then I could do perspective through here and kind of like throw things way off and do that so you do have multi enveloping involving on there along with the letter 11 alphabets on there and another sample I will show you I'm going to just put a little complex fill here. I'm going to put a satin stitch here. And on the higher levels, you may have a user defined split. So I'm going to go ahead and create a little circle through here. I'm going to put my entering exit points through here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch angle through here. Now I'm going to go actually create a couple little squiggly lines through here so you can get an idea. I'm going to generate the stitches put the true view on here as you may see through here and you have actually a program split you can edit these so you are not limited to there and you could reshape your user defined now this also will recognize machine files so if you have machine files you can edit those on there so if you create a stamps or motifs fills or more that might have had these program splits, you can edit them.